hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's good to see again everyone and i just want to say thank you so much guys those who's watching my channel and my videos and those subscribing like and sharing my channel i appreciate you all and if you haven't subscribed yet my channel please subscribe like and share my video so i haven't been uploaded uh, some video about fishing this time because it's been raining so much here in christchurch it's winter but oh it's just raining all the time so it's not good for fishing so today i'm just making some cooking and i'm doing some salmon custard pineapple pie so this one is just most of the most common um uh, cake in uh, in the island of samoa so for your information i'm from philippines but my husband is a samoan so mainly i cook a lot of salmon food and um, i used to live in samoa for five years so i've learned a lot about the culture of the salmon um, and actually i cook we cook more salmon food than a filipino food so Today I'm going to make one of the most common cake in the island of Samoa. So I'm going to make the, um, they call it Samoan custard pineapple pie. So oh, we're gonna show you what you needed. So before I'm gonna show you what I needed is what I have to do is I'm going to because I am baking it. So I'm going to preheat press the oven so that when I'm finished preparing uh, everything and then all we needed is just uh, put now in the oven. So I just pre Okay, so I just preheat my oven and of course uh, preparing, I just have to wash my hands, that's the main thing. Okay. So we just wash our hand and I'm going to show you some of the ingredients that needed for salmon um, custard pineapple pie. So there are so many versions how to do this or there are so many flavors that you can do the salmon custard pie. Um, some they make uh, peach custard pineapple, some some uh, just uh, custard pineapple, but today I'm just making the pineapple. And so what I needed is I'm going to do first the base and for the base or the crust of the pineapple, so I just need a big bowl. So for the crust or the base of the custard pineapple, all you needed is a self, um, a self prison flour. So I normally use the self prison flour because I I don't need to worry about baking powder, the measurement of baking powder, and it's nice the texture. Every time I use the um, um, self prison flour, I like the the crust how how it cooks so i just use a self resin but if you don't have available self resin flour is you can use the plain flour and add up with the baking powder so we have self resin flour for the base and you needed um a sugar and you needed um a butter and we have all our measuring things that you needed and of course you needed a, a egg so we need some eggs um and i have here my tray for this size of tray that i'm using today so i just needed two eggs and i just needed a 250 grams so just needed two eggs 250 grams of butter and um well this one is one kilogram but i'm not gonna use them it's 1.5 kilograms so i'm gonna use only half of this so it's 1.5 so half of 1.5 is about 700 grams of self prison flour and a cup of sugar and that's all we needed so first thing we have to do is you have to melt the butter so we just melt it maybe just um 30 seconds or uh, one minute okay so we just put in this Yeah, I love the, the, the salmon custard pineapple pie. And for the filling, I'm gonna show you later. So I'm just showing right now for the for the base or the crust. We'll just check our butter. Okay. 
So for the 700 grams, let's just see how many cups for the 700 grams. So just about three cups of um, self resin flour and a cup of sugar, white sugar. I use the white sugar. And then we just need two large egg. So you just beat them. And then just need a butter. So I didn't melt them, re uh, all of them, because it's just quite so hot. You don't want them to hot your your butter. Okay, while well, we're cooling a little bit, so all we need to do is just mix our flour and the sugar and the egg. Now, in making pie, I, uh, we you we will use most of your hands, so that's why you have to make sure that your hand is clean. Okay, so now we can put, now we can put our butter. Okay, so if you can see it, sorry. So at the beginning, you can just use a fork to mix them, and then later on use your hand. Now time to use our hand. So use my hand. So as, as you notice I haven't put all my melted butter before because I wanted to mix first uh everything and then just making sure that all the ingredients are been mixed and then after that at the end i just put the rest yeah, so you just use your hand Rub and press them so that all the ingredients mix together. So remember, I'm using a self resin flour, so I don't need a baking powder into this. You just need self resin, sugar, butter, and egg. Okay, so I I like the texture now; it's nice. So you can see that once you see that the um, the mixture is already forming like this, so that means it's nice your texture and it's ready. Okay, so once it's ready, you get your um, baking um, baking tray. So it's up to you if you wanted to put butter into the um, uh, the pan, but I normally I don't use it because every time I bake, it doesn't mix. Oh, sorry, it doesn't stick, sorry. So I just put that one. And so what I needed to do is uh, grab a handful of this and I put it here. And then by using my hand, 
so that you can see it. I just use my hand to press it to flatten the flour mix. Just use that. Oh, So make sure you, all your base is flat. So you don't need to make it really thick, the, um, the base on it. You don't want a thick uh, crust. Because once you bake this one, it's expand. So just balance it. You can use also some of your spatula to flatten them. Okay, so now okay, once the bottom is ready, now we're gonna do is the side. So what I do is I get a small of the mix flour. Then just use my finger. Oh, I'll put it aside so that you can see it. So I just use my finger to put at the side press. There we go. So you just do that all around. It doesn't need to go all the way on the top because this um, tray that I have is a little bit uh, um, deep. So for the tray, you can use also some um, um, aluminum foil uh, baking tray. This, uh, we use it for the barbecue. You can use them, which is really nice how they cook using those trays okay so just do that all the way So you just keep doing that until you finish all the side. Okay, so as you can see, all the corners is almost, um, almost finished. So now I, it's just my mixture of flour is just almost run out but I think it's just more than enough okay so my measurement is just really good because it's just enough nothing is wasted no flour mix has been wasted okay so just make sure that they're all smooth and flat Okay, 
Okay, so our crust uh, base is ready. So we're gonna put this into the oven. Into the oven. So remember, I already preheat my oven to 180 degrees. So that's ready. So we will just put now in the oven. So uh, I preheat for 180 degrees and then in cooking um, I use 200 degrees uh, Celsius so it, it's up to you your how hot your oven uh, with the type of oven that you have but I'm, I'm using my oven at 200 degrees you don't want it's too hot because when it's too hot it's gonna get burned easily your base so you want just uh, slow cook your base so it's nice crunchy and at the same time it's not get too hard so we just clear this up and then we will gonna prepare the custard so we just remove all of these okay so while our base is um in the oven it takes like 20 to 25 minutes before it breaks until it golden brown so we're gonna prepare now the um the filling the custard the pineapple all you needed is custard pineapple uh custard powder sorry you only needed is custard powder you need a sugar um you need a crushed pineapple and you needed milk and some water so first thing you have to do is you just mix them all together so with the tray that i'm using um i just need like about four spoon or uh, no 12 spoons of custard powder it yeah so same thing you just use uh, 12 um, 12 spoon of sugar one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve it's actually that's just like one cup but i'm just showing to you that's how you do that in the island if you don't have a cup then just use a spoon one to one ratio then we just mix our water and then a cup of uh, milk yeah it's up to you if you want more um, milk then you can use um, two cups of milk it's up to you uh, if you want more use milk than the water then it's up to you but i just use um, one and a half cup of water and one cup of milk okay then you just mix them and then we're gonna put that into the pot. Let's go. Okay, so we just uh, boil our custard. So it's so important that when boiling your custard, you always have to mix them so that it doesn't stick at the bottom. So I'm just mixing it right now because I can still feel like some residue of the custard powder underneath so we're gonna mix them every uh, one and a half minutes we mix them okay so we just leave it like that and we just bring it to boil this one it cooks super quickly so we just keep mixing our pasta because we don't want to be get lumpy. So every minute I just mix them. Then when it's uh, thick now our pasta, we will gonna put our pineapple. So they're not thick, so we just have to mix. So my pasta is getting thick now, so we're gonna put our pineapple. We just mix that. And then 
and just cook a bit and then we're gonna add more our custard pineapple into our base so i think our cut our crust is ready so we'll just take it out now so that was just like about 20 minutes nearly burned okay but that's looking good so that one just golden brown nice and orange okay so we just cool down our base and we wait until my custard is ready just cool down a little bit Oh, sorry guys. I thought my video was on, but it wasn't. So, but I missed out. How did I show this? Uh, how did I put my my custard uh, fillings into my base? So, but um, all you need to do. So once it's ready and cooked, I just put all the custard uh, um, pineapple into my base, and this is how it looked like. So it's just good enough so you just need to flatten them and cool that down and then it's nice to eat if we uh, refrigerate them for a moment it cools down it's nice when it's cold so now um what we need to do is we're going to put the cream on the top on it and for the cream is so we only needed the uh, fresh cream and a little bit of sugar and we beat them until it's creamy and then we put it on the top and it's nice Okay, so we just now kind of make our uh, cream on the top on it. So um, all you needed is just fresh cream and just a bit of sugar. Uh, this one is about 500 ml of uh, fresh cream. Okay, so our custard is inside the fridge at the moment. So it's cooling down and then when it cool down and then we will put our cream. So just make that. So she has 250 grams of fresh cream. And just a bit of sugar. It's just probably about uh, one fourth cup of sugar. Just need a one fourth cup of sugar. You don't want to be too much sweet your uh, your cream because your custard is already sweet, your base is already sweet, and then you don't want to be too sweet. And then you just have your mixer. Just mix them and beat them until uh, thick. I always use a thicker one, a deeper one thing because our ass is going to be everywhere. You just beat it until it gets so creamy. So when you are beating up your your cream when you're building up your cream sorry when you're building up your cream make sure you have um, a deeper pots to use it or it's just everywhere it's so messy Really 
I think just need a little bit more. Okay, so the cream now is ready and we just put it once the custard is cooled down. There you go, so the texture is nice. So we just need to wait for the custard to cool down and we will put our cream. So our custard is cooled down now. So it's looking great. And so now we're gonna put our cream. So the cream is what I normally do is um, uh, I put it in a plastic, but if you have a whipping bag, uh, you can use it too. But uh, I just normally use my sandwich bag and put the cream inside and put it. Just do it like that. And then just cut the tape. And just put them that way. See that one? I'm going to need one more line. It's nice to have lots of cream. It's looking nice. Okay. okay, so that's done now. I'm gonna show you. It's looking great. So we will just cut it and see how it look like just cut them in the middle There you go guys, that's my custard pineapple. Looks yummy. So thank you so much guys for watching um, my channel. And uh, if you have any questions, you can make a comment. Uh, and I'll try my best to answer. But now it's time to eat. Please don't forget to uh, like and share. And don't please, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please subscribe now. Thank you so much, guys, for those who already subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet my channel, please subscribe, like, and share. Please appreciate everyone who's watching my channel. Thank you so much, and God bless. I will enjoy now my pie. Mmm. Yum. Nice. Thank you guys. There you go guys. That's my custard pineapple peach. Nice cross. There you go, the cross. Nice one. Yeah.